I've watched all these part 10s and part 13s, but sometimes that could really ruin the franchise. Yes, sir, you are correct. Terrifier. Part 3. What? Terrifier 3? Didn't Terrifier 2 just came, come out? It did. And it has been such a runaway success. It has gone up something like 84, 85% as it's been going on in ticket sales now i mean it's not rivaling the next dc or mcu movie but for a little independent horror slasher b movie flick it's doing tremendously well it is already making tons of profit uh because it didn't cost much to make so and it's it's been garnering a lot of garnering a lot of buzz lots of people are talking about terrifier 2. so now people are saying i've not seen terrifier 2 i've seen terrifier 1 but i've heard about terrifier 2 People are asking, what's next? Well, according to the director, right now, I would like to just tell a solid story where it has a nice arc for my heroes, my villains. It's complete, Leon said. And that's the director. Revealing that his plan he's planned a trilogy. So a three is, I can almost guarantee, a part three. After that, well, we'll see if there's anything left and if the fans are still accepting of this character and this franchise. I pretty much have the entire treatment ready for part three, but it's getting so big that it could potentially split into a part four because I wouldn't want to make another two hour, 20 minute movie. Now that is one thing I've heard about the second one. It is, it's almost two and a half hours long, which seems ridiculously long for just a slasher, like, horror, B-horror movie. But, hey, people are liking it. But he says he doesn't want to make another one that long, so his story for three is getting so big, he might actually split it into part three and part four. But part three is definitely going. Uh, I had a part three in mind when writing part two, the filmmaker told Variety. There are so many questions brought up in part two that are not answered. And that was part of the design because I know I'm going to do part three. So there it is. I mean, it's more or less confirmed. Part three is coming. Well, we might get to part four as well. Uh, on the series continuing on beyond that and becoming bigger and bigger as it goes like some of these series do. Uh, he says, my fear is that eventually the well is going to run dry. We're going to wind up uh, jumping the shark. There will be nothing left to say with this character. It could be devastating to the franchise if latter sequels ended the current hot streak. It happens with a lot of franchises, and I'm still a huge fan of. I'm watched, I've watched all these part 10s and part 13s, but sometimes that could really ruin the franchise. Yes, sir, you are correct. Sometimes, most times, when these franchise horror franchises go on for just well beyond their shelf life, they get so out there and ridiculous because they got to do something to try and keep it all fresh and, and, and clean. And they typically are unable to do that, like we were talking about Jason earlier. Sometimes, the, the, like he said, the character, the franchise just doesn't have it in it. But they keep going with it anyway. So I'm hoping that him knowing that, walking into this thing at the inception of it right now, who knows, in five years, Terrifier might be a big, huge name out there that everybody knows. And it might be the next Friday the 13th or the next Nightmare on Elm Street. I do hope that he recognizes when that character, when that well has run dry, as he said, and he just ends it. But it doesn't sound like that is what he's doing now. It sounds like he is gearing up uh, for, definitely gearing up for part three right now and possibly even a fourth. So if you're a fan of Terrifier and Terrifier 2, get ready because you are getting a whole lot more Terrifier coming sometime soon. It didn't take him as long to make the second one as the first one. The first one took a long time to make. The second one didn't take as long to make. It only took a few years. So I imagine with the success of the second one, we'll get this third one fairly quick. We'll be as early as next, next Halloween. I don't know about that, but definitely by the following Halloween. But me, myself, like I said, I haven't seen part two. I can't speak to it. But after seeing part one, while it's got some rough scenes in it that are pretty gross, it was a good time. It was just a B movie. This is not a deep movie at all. The first one wasn't, at least. But it's still fun. It's still fun and just over the top and just really violent. So, But you guys let me know out there. Are you a fan of Terrifier or Terrifier 2? Are you really looking forward to a Terrifier sequel? Are you happy to hear that at least a third movie is confirmed, possibly a fourth. 
What do you guys think of that? You looking forward to seeing it? Let me know in the comments below.